Hey there, this is Steve Horseman with Good Guys to Great Men. Thanks for joining me on another video. I think I'm coming down with a cold, so if I look bloodshot in the eyes, don't send me emails or make comments to say, hey, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm okay. Yellow runny nose. Uh, I don't know what it is. I think it's a cold. So, are you okay? That's the question. I'm okay. I know I'm okay. I have a belief system that says I'm okay. Even if this weather turns to crap and I get four feet of snow, I'm okay. Are you okay? I asked that of a 32 year old guy the other day. I asked him, are you okay? Let's call him Craig. That's my middle name. Craig, are you okay? He goes, I don't think I'm okay. My wife is sick of me. She says she thinks we should separate. She hasn't had sex with me for six weeks. She's been talking to another guy on Facebook and I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm stuck. I said, but are you okay? He goes, what do you mean? Let's put it this way. Do you believe that in your heart, absent of outside things like a wife who isn't loving you or doing everything you thought she should are you okay inside your own sense of self are you a thoughtful caring man are you an honest person are you a man of emotional maturity and strength and integrity do you love your children without condition are you a faithful friend are you a good son are you a good brother are you a good man and at 32 years old sometimes we don't even think we're a man yet and then i found out it hit me that I have clients right now as we speak who are 32, 42, 52, 62, and yes, 72 year, year old client. I have them and the question's the same for every single one of them, which is why we always start here with who are you? Do you believe that you have an inherent sense of value? an inherent sense of worthiness? Do you believe that despite the outside crap going on, the drama and all the things that are making you feel stuck and scared and in limbo, that despite those out th outside things, are you okay? Are you solid? Because if everything outside of you was taken away because those are outside your control, you're still left with you. And so we start with that. Okay, it's four letters. Okay, A Y, are you okay? It means do you have a sense of inner stability? Do you have an emotional grounding of yourself? And we start here all the time. No matter what's going on outside, we can't solve that until you understand that the inside job of reaching a level of cool, calm, confident, deliberate, daily sense of happiness, even if there are sad circumstances. Now, I want to say that again. I'm not saying this isn't a Pollyannish tool to be happy and everything will follow. That's bull crap. But be happy because of one belief, and that is that you're okay despite what's going on outside you. And when you can bring that strength of knowing you're okay, then you can peacefully coexist with sadness that happens around you. Things have to happen at the same time. Sadness and your okayness must coexist because you don't have control over sad circumstances, sad choices, unexpected decisions, things that happen that don't seem fair to you. You don't have control over those. So yeah, they're going to have to coexist with your sense of worthiness, your sense of grounded happiness. So I'm, I'm telling you this because it is the most basic conversation we have to start with. And we don't get to move on. We don't get to go on and talk about everything that's wrong with your wife or how to save the marriage or how to stop her from talking to her, her guy on Facebook. We, we don't get to talk about all that stuff until we get you grounded into a peaceful sense of okayness where you realize you don't have to react to everything. I like a quote from Glenn Fry of the Eagles. Yes, I'm 60, so the Eagles are one of my favorite bands. And he said they got to a point in their, in their belief system as a band that all they had to do was show up because the worst that they would ever be is great. And this is what I want to help you do. I want you to get to a point where you laugh and go, you know what, the worst I'm ever going to be is great. That comes from an inside sense of okayness, an inside sense of greatness. And then from there, you deal with all the unexpected, unpredictable, fair, sad, unfair, sad things that happen outside of you. So that's what I want to talk about. That's why I want you to join our roundtable because we talk about this stuff every day. It's why I want to do a one-on-one -on -one consultation with you or you with one of our coaches around the world. This is why I want you in our community because when a guy gets this one thing, this one thing, everything outside of him starts to change for the better. That I can guarantee you. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching again. Take care. Bye-bye.